All right. Here we have Skip in front of us, and we're taking this movie, and we're looking at his mouth, and he's got a pretty nice beard here, a little black in the center, and today's date is what? Today's date is October 5th. Yeah, and you can see when he's saying this, how that how straight his teeth are across the front, and let's see his smiles to see your teeth. I want to open, yeah, he's had a lot of wear in the front teeth, and the closed bite, and the closed uh, vertical dimension a little bit, because his mouth turns down. How old are you? I'm 65. Okay, so he's getting up there. And um, tell me a little bit now, uh, how did we start this? Why, how did you happen to come here? Oh, I ran into you on the driveway. And you took <laughs> not one... Not <with> car. <laughs> no, not literally. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we kind of uh, bumped into each other, so to speak, and yeah. you uh, asked me some questions. I don't know if it was obvious or what, but... Uh, Somehow or other, you asked me some questions about uh, my... Uh, Your tooth wear? Yeah, and uh, you provided a couple of quick little tests. Uh, we <laughs> did a kinesiology test, and you found that with your teeth together, you were kind of weak, huh? Yes, yeah. And then I put a toothpick in the front of your teeth. And, Correct, that's and what you did. And you were did. like you couldn't push your arm down. Yeah. Well, and that led to being examined. Uh -huh. And we found that you had a lot of wear on your teeth and a pretty deep overbite. So now uh, you've, and we decided to do what? Put a, an anterior bite splint in you. Okay. But right? Is, is that the? That's the name of it. Okay, the People, anterior bite splint. Bite splint, yes. People call them night guards because that's when they started. When I made these, started to make these about 1954. Mm -hmm. And I heard about it from some dentist from uh, New York. And uh, so you've been wearing this now for about 10 days. 10 days, and what have you noticed so far? I've noticed uh, 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 I sleep better. Um, I have had less pain. I've had less pain in my jaw, uh, into my, uh, up by my ears, mm -hmm. the joints. The joints. And in my neck and in my shoulders. Okay, and the sleep you said was what? What was a improved sleep because of? Well, I think it was because I'm not waking up as much, and okay. I'm sleeping better. All right. And you live alone, so you don't know if you had snoring or didn't snore. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know that. Now, can right. you smile broadly? And I want to see you with your teeth together now. Bite. Now, pull your lower lip down, just your lower lip. Can you do that with your finger? Yeah. He's got a real deep overbite, and his midlines are displaced a little bit. And I think he had a little cracking or noises in some of the joints. Wasn't yes, that true? Yes, yeah. I did, and yeah. I don't know if I still do or not, but I did well, have we will, Well, we'll see, but uh, okay. So uh, anything else you've noticed? Um, no, I'm just feeling better, and I've noticed that uh, I, don't, I don't grind my teeth as much, and when I don't have the, uh, the appliance in that uh, I tend not to grind as much um, okay. and, and I'm a little more relaxed. Well you're not clenching is the big thing. Well and I think that's yeah that's yeah. noticeable I'm not clenching yeah. as much. Well the, the other thing is that you told me you missed a couple of appointments. Oh yeah I haven't been to see my acupuncturist for two weeks um, partially because I don't feel I need it as much right now but partially because uh, I want to see how the um, appliance that you made for me yeah. is working out. Well, there, one other thing, you, you're quite an exercise enthusiast because you do Correct. You do uh, running and stuff. Yeah. The other thing you do is weights too and you had said you kind of right. laid off on that. Yeah, and I, I laid off on that because I, I want to make sure that I don't want to have too many things mixed up here like okay. uh, am I getting pain from lifting the weights, uh, is the acupuncture helping me, so I want to stick with just doing the appliance for a while and I've noticed that I am comfortable wearing it now. Uh, I don't speak as well with it yeah. in my mouth, but I also wear it when I'm walking and jogging okay. and running. So well, I can wear it during activities. Very slowly bring it up to your mouth and put it in. I want to see. Okay. There, slow it, slow down right there. Right in a little more there. You see there's a cutout in the, this, uh, the palate of this, so it gives room for his tongue to go up and nestle right behind the front teeth. Okay, let's put it in all the way. So we call this a night guard, or daytime, a nighttime splint, and now bite. Now pull your lip down. 
and it really shows how the, the overbite is just essentially decreased, which also takes him off the discs, and he won't be pressuring the condyles into the socket when he's bite, because he can't bite hard. That's right, you just can't bite hard. Mm -hmm. right? Correct. Okay, now, so um, you can relax again. Now say Michigan a little bit. Michigan a little bit. Yeah, well there's a little trouble with some words, but he's doing pretty well with it. Oh yeah, and I'm, I'm actually speaking better with it now than I was at the, at the outset. Yeah. But it's still a little difficult. Well, we showed him some of the goals we have in treatment, and one of them was talks about speaking. And so we can do something for that really quickly by making him a daytime splint, which removes the bar across the anterior's lingual acrylic and, and, and gives him two splints to wear, which is handy sometimes, because a lady just told me last in the parking lot last night after church, she said, yeah, and Dr. Neal, I stepped and broke my splint. And I said, well, why don't you tell me I'd make you a new one? She said, oh, I'm wearing the other one all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to have a backup. Yes. And But we have to be careful. These things are friable. So uh, now we will get you back here in a couple of weeks and give you that other splint. And uh, what do you think the expectations would be on that? Um, less pain, which I've already experienced, and uh, better appearance and, and um, eating better. Yeah, and then also being able to talk in public and oh, uh, yeah. on the phone. Uh, right, well. Okay, well, yeah. uh, what date is this again? This is August. Today is uh, October the 5th, 2015. Okay, well, thank the Lord, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.